after a nice start to the weekend today, not looking too terribly bad as we head into our Sunday and then increasing rain chances as we head through a good part of the upcoming week with a more unsettled weather pattern returning to the area. More on that in just a little bit, but first it was fair to partly cloudy skies through the course of the day today here across the region on our Saturday showers and storms out into Texas this evening. More clouds starting to move in here uh, across Acadiana here locally this evening, but all the showers and storms out in Texas should remain there as we head into our Sunday, but not nearly as cool tonight. We'll see temperatures mid to upper 60s by tomorrow tomorrow morning as those southerly winds continue to bring in the moisture and then uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies out there tomorrow. Maybe an isolated shower or two trying to develop with the heating of the day tomorrow afternoon, mainly confined though into southwestern Louisiana, but nonetheless we will hold rain chances at around 10%. Your high temperatures will be topping out once again in the lower to middle 80s. Bit more humid out there tomorrow as well. Temperatures even milder overnight tonight, Monday morning dropping down into the upper 60s to lower 70s and then a pretty decent scattering of showers and storms as we head into our Monday and as per usual this time of year in May, any one of the storms that do develop could be capable of putting down some heavy downpours in a very short period of time and really this is going to be the start of what's going to be kind of an unsettled weather pattern as we head through the rest of the work week. Here we go into Tuesday with green once again showing up on the map and then as we head into Wednesday, some very heavy rains and some intense downpours taking shape out into uh, southeast in Texas. This is a bit concerning because this is where we could see the potential to see some flooding rain. So we're going to have to watch that and then still staying unsettled even here across the Cadiana as we head into Thursday. It's not going to be raining continuously all week long, but nonetheless, definitely one of those weeks where we're going to have to dodge some scattered showers and storms for sure. And then hopefully as we head into Friday, we may see a ridge of high pressure try to sneak back in from the east, uh, which would tend to kind of dry us out as we round out the week and head into the following weekend, but still not necessarily a guarantee at this point since we're still a week out. So here's rainfall totals. This is the European model taking us through next Friday, showing a decent soaking here across the KDN. And again, some of these amounts could be doubled, especially in those stronger thunderstorms. And then notice out uh, into Texas some pretty uh, high rainfall totals taking shape. So we're going to be watching that for our friends out in Texas for the potential to see uh, some flash flooding as we head throughout the week. Meanwhile, tonight, pretty quiet evening and night ahead. Bit milder, mid to upper 60s for your overnight low under partly cloudy skies and then as we head into our Sunday tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. It'll be warm, a bit more humid as well as those high temperatures top out in the lower to middle 80s. And again, an isolated chance to see uh, a shower or two by the afternoon, but not overly likely. Next 10 days again, weather pattern turning more unsettled through a good part of the upcoming week. 50 to 60% on the rain chances and locally heavy downpours possible as well. And then hopefully starting to settle things down as we round out next weekend and head into the following week. That's going to do it for weather for now. We'll have more news coming up after the break.